What are you doing? You making a little, you making a little shelter for your little puppies? What's up, girl? What's up, girl? Let's go see your puppies. Look at the little puppies. When you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. God, you have a lot of them. Look at them all. Look at all your puppies. Your puppies. Good girl. What's up, guys? So I actually didn't record this morning just because it was really dark. Um, it, we didn't finish up till like 6:30 in the morning. Um, and it was still kind of dark. It didn't light up till like 7, so it, we couldn't really see the video. Um, but actually, we're here. We're back here. We already ate. We already had some breakfast. We're getting some pastura, which is actually some shredded dry corn. Um, here in the back, we have a, we have a cows. They're um, getting some alfalfa. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Actually, I love, love making alfalfa water. It's really, really good. And of course, it's all puppies. Here's some more puppies actually right here as well. Here's, here's the other mom with her about eight puppies. They're getting fed right now. Man, look at them all. Crazy. Chill, girl, chill. Get it, look at getting that milk though that milk but yeah we're here at the ranch um it's one of my cousin's place and man back in my childhood i used to spend my days here and i just love it out here it's great <laughs> and these cows are munching good. Right, Weta? Munching good, huh? Man, I miss these days. This right here is alfalfa. Um, whenever it's real, real green, you make this into water, you just shred it up, put some water, some sugar. Man, this is one of the best waters you can have. Just love it. These cows love it, and with this, and they, they produce so much milk, it's crazy. There's a whole bunch of ants here in the pastura. I have one right here. About to eat this guy. Tastes like nothing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We have the mule right here. She's a beauty. Yeah, wanna guess how, many, how old she is? She's only she's only about 30 years old. Only. Load her up with alfalfa. We actually put the rest over there on that on that side over there. This is for her. That's what she gets for for hard day's work. <coughs> Let's get her unloaded. You might wonder how the cows don't get out and roam around. Well, this is actually the reason why. This little gadget right here actually throw, has shocks on it. And if you touch this, man, it gives you a hell of a shock. So these cows, when they touch it with their nose, they do not want to touch it again. But uh, when I was little, I used to touch them all the time, and I don't know, I was kind of addicted to it. So I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> See? My cousin, he didn't believe me. He was, he was trying to Snapchat me because he thought I was going to cry, but it's nothing. I don't even feel it. Yeah, talk a little. No, I'm good enough. He doesn't want to. <laughs> Another thing I also used to do is so if you touch this metal, of course, I don't know if you guys know much about science, but. If you touch metal with electricity, it's going to help give you a hell of a shock, so... I'm going to do this one as well. No, he wants me to wet my hand. Hell no. Oh, shit. How you do it again? Aguanta! No me grabaste, güey. Man, I just did it twice and he didn't freaking record me, so I have to do it again so y'all can see that. And it's crazy how the first time it didn't give me that much, but this third time it freaking shocked the hell out of me. Oh man. Man, I'm still feeling the aftermath of the shock. I mean, imagine to shock a cow and to make it not want to touch it again. That's a pretty big shock. I mean, I don't know why, but I'm kind of drawn to electricity. Except when I touched that freaking metal, man. That, that thing shocked the hell out of me. But, uh, I mean, it's fun. I don't even know why I do it. This is how the farmers water their, water their crops here in here in Mexico. All this water comes from our dam up north and separates into channels. And I mean, they basically pay, they pay nothing to receive this water, but it keeps their their crops, their corn, their alfalfa, their milo, everything. It keeps it real, real green. I mean, it's December and it gets pretty cold, but I mean, it still works. It's gonna be some bacon for later. Even more bigger bacon. <laughs> All right guys, so it's 5 p.m. We're about to go milk the cows. Um, we did it this morning and I, I could have showed y'all but it was really, really dark so I decided not to put it in the video. But here it is.
This is like eating cake, eating pizza. Man, these guys eating cheeseburgers out here. They just love this. Man, I do too. All right, guys. Well, that wraps it up for this video. I actually used to do this quite a bit with my grandpa back when I was very, very little. Um, fortunately, he passed away. He ended up having like about 300 cows, which was really, really fun. I would just spend my spend my time at the ranch. Today, I'm here with one of my uncles who still has cows. Um, here in Mexico, in our town, I mean, it's a very, very small town. Cattle is actually one of the main sources of income here. That's what a lot of people do. Animals, um, cattle, horses, sheep, pigs. I mean, that's that's what they do here. I mean, it's a it's a poor living, you could say. But honestly, some of these people live a lot happier than us. A lot, a lot of us, we're always out in the city. And I mean, I just feel like this is a way more and more free uh, atmosphere. I mean, I just... I feel like I could do anything out here and I love it so hope y'all enjoyed uh, see y'all next one peace this crazy ass hair <laughs>